Senator Ted Cruz made a trip down to the border um, and tried to get some video of what was going on there. Here's what happened. Please respect. Please give dignity to the people. Please give dignity to the people. So you work for the commissioner, your senior advisor. You were hired two weeks ago, and you're instructed to ask us to not have any pictures taken here. Please respect the people. Because the, the political rules. leadership at DHS does not want the American people to know it. Please respect the rules. You keep sir. standing in, in front of the pictures, Please so you don't want the, the pictures rules. taken. The rules are arbitrary, and Please they're designed the to keep the American the people, people in the dark. Give the dignity and respect. That's all we ask. Well, dignity no, it's and not. Respect. You're asking, is this Please. dignity and respect? Look Please at these people. There, there's a pandemic. Please give dignity and respect to the people. Let, let me ask, ask you. you. There, there's a I pandemic. I respectfully ask you, sir. There is a pandemic. Is this respecting the rights of these I kids? I ask you. Please Are you respecting the, the rights of these this kids? This is not a zoo, sir. Please don't treat the people. You're right. And this is a dangerous place. Please don't treat the people And your policies, unfortunately, are trying to hide them. I understand you are instructed. When 18 I senators ask you came to down here, respect the people, give them dignity I respect, and respect them, and I want to fix this situation. We all want and to fix this. The administration this, you're working for is responsible anymore. for these conditions. All right. There's a lot going on. Let me unpack this yeah. um, and what I think is worth taking away from this whole incident. First of all, very revealing. Of, you do actually get to see a little bit of the conditions, which look pretty abhorrent, and something that Democrats really cared a lot about when it was the Trump administration, yeah. um, and now pretty quiet on the Democratic side of the aisle, not only about the conditions, and I'm not, their policies have been different, and there have been some efforts, and they're not separating children from their parents, as the Trump administration was. However, these conditions still look really bad. And very specifically, remember, the Trump administration took a lot of heat for denying media access mm -hmm. to see what was going on. Now you have the Biden administration with 100% the same policy in terms of the media denying access so you can't see what is going on and you have this official saying, oh, it's for their dignity In some cases, respect. less, actually. Yeah. Less, less access. Less access. Yeah. So stonewalling the media and very little that you're hearing out of Democrats, a few very small voices coming out and decrying that. And then on the other hand, you've got Senator Cruz pretending like he cares about the condition. This is very dangerous. Yeah. These children, are you treating them properly? You don't care now, and you didn't care under the Trump administration. So it's just like total hypocrisy all the way around. Yeah, I've, oh, look, this is what's bothered me from the very beginning, I've ever since I started reporting on this story. These children are pawns. They're used politically by whomever is convenient, and nobody actually cares about their welfare whenever it comes to the policy discussion, whenever it comes to the outrage that people are expressing, the way that they are used now, and all these lawmakers who are talking about blah, blah, blah. It's like, he didn't care about them then. And no, I don't think Ted Cruz particularly cares about them now. And that's why nobody has real incentive in order to solve this problem or to look at very specific changes in U.S. asylum law or adding courts or adding different facilities. These are all like boring, nitty gritty things. I think the truth, the dirty truth is that people love this. I think they love it. In order for, on the right, people loved it and in order to, they're loving it because they think that it's something they can use against Biden politically, which is true. 60% of Americans disapprove of his handling of the border in the last poll that I saw on this. And I think that Democrats loved it whenever it was happening under uh, Trump in 2018 because, you know, all this concentration camps, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and that's that's this the, the terrible part of this, which yeah. is like, you use these kids as pawns, you use these people as pawns, they're coming from, you know, terrible conditions, and if you really care, there are a lot of different discussions and things, when we had one yesterday, about what to do and what not to do, but nobody wants to do anything about and it. And I want to say, when we say people don't care, we mean specifically the lawmakers here in Washington, yeah, right. because That's right. I think that the people on, you know, whether you agree with everyone's opinion or not, there are very strongly held views on both sides of the political divide on these issues, and I think that the citizens citizenry genuinely cares about the issue and genuinely cares about what's happened. And they also are being sort of emotionally manipulated mm -hmm. by leadership here um, when it comes to these issues. And it's a perfect example of why no one has an actual interest in solving these problems, because then they don't get, yeah. then they don't get the political talking point, right? I mean, Republicans have tried to use this issue now, like multiple elections in a row. Democrats have used it as well. Back in 2018, when the migrant caravan, that was what saved, actually, 
actually the GOP Republican from having yeah. even more of a blowout ultimately in that election. Even though that didn't work for them to keep the House, um, it was very effective. I, I was privy to a lot of the in polling. The seats, yes. in, in red seats, it, it dramatically changed the landscape in the last few weeks of that race. You saw, of course, it used in 2016. You saw how it was weaponized against Obama. You saw how it was weaponized against Trump. Um, and so, yeah, I think ultimately what this really exposes is just, again, the hollowness of all of the rhetoric around it ultimately. And, and look, again, I we have very different views on this issue. I, you know, don't want to make it like the Biden administration and the Trump administration's handling is equivalent. I know you also don't think that their handling is equivalent, but you have different views of that. Um, so this is not to say that, like, their handling is exactly the same, but some of the similar, I think the media point, it actually is basically the same policy. So maybe it's the most clear cut distinction here. And you see Ted Cruz pretending like he cares, pretending like he cares about transparency, pretending like he cares on a humanitarian level about the people here when he didn't care about any of that under the Trump administration. You have the media and Democrats handling this very different than they uh, handled yeah, it. The media's handling differently. A lot of them, you know, dinner center-left Democrats who talked a big game about human rights and all that. And it was it's like, you don't care. And they never did. And that's the biggest hypocrisy that I've seen completely on this. And look, it makes us all worse off. And these people are all much worse oh, off, 100%, too. Um, so 100%. it's a lose-lose situation. All right. We're rising for you after this.